Hello, today we're going to talk about angle grinder safety. Angle grinder usage requires caution. Thousands of angle grinder related injuries are reported each year, injuries that could have been prevented. So we have to ask ourselves, why do accidents happen? Is it fatigue? Rushing to finish a job? Lack of awareness of the potential risk? Is it the use of the wrong tool or wrong accessory? Maybe it's the removal or the bypassing of the tool's safety features. The point being is accidents happen fast. To put in perspective, a six inch thin cutting wheel has a no load speed of 9,600 RPMs. That's equal to 170 miles an hour. So imagine what could happen if that makes contact with your body. We're gonna go through a few steps, uh, starting with step one, proper use of PPE. We're looking at safety glasses, face shields, work gloves, flame retardant clothing, protective footwear, and protective headgear. However, you should always be sure to check with your safety professional for the specific PPE requirements for your site. Step two, properly prepared work environment. We need to make sure the work environment is in the right condition before we proceed forward. Grinders throw sparks. Remove all combustible materials, including paper, cardboard, and rags. Never work near combustible liquids, gases, or dust. Never operate the power tool in wet environments. Power tools require your absolute full attention. Clear your mind and avoid distractions. Secure loose hair, clothing, and jewelry away from moving parts. Never work under the influence of any substances. If you see something or someone that looks unsafe, tell a supervisor immediately. Step three, selection of the proper tool. Be sure that we choose the right tool for the job. Match rated RPMs and power to the work being performed. Use specific tools for unique applications. Never alter the tool. Do not bypass the on and off switch. Never use non-grinder accessories. Use manufacturer supplied or OSHA recommended guards for the application and always use a side handle with two hands on the grinder. Again, always be sure to check with your safety officer or safety specialist regarding your site specific requirements for working at heights and drop protection. Step four, proper use and accessories and startup. Always be sure that you match the diameter of the wheel with the rating of the grinder. Refer to the spec plate or owner's manual for details. If you use the inappropriate wheel that does not match the RPMs, that cutting disc could fall apart. It is very important to always inspect the wheels prior to using. Visually inspect for chips or imperfections. Replace if any are found. Always start the grinder with the wheel facing away from the body and other workers. Run the grinder for 60 seconds to test the wheel's integrity. Never use a wheel with a rated speed lower than the rated speed of the grinder. As we spoke before, doing that could cause that wheel to fall apart and create an injury. Always start your work with a new wheel and don't rely on a wheel you haven't tested. Step five, proper techniques. Always keep an athletic stance with both hands on the grinder. Do not overreach. Properly support both sides of the work to avoid pinch or bind. Never cut two planes at once. Always cut from the top to the bottom and always be sure to properly tether tools when working at height as required. Step six, reducing the chance of kickback. Be constantly aware of the possibility of kickback. It can happen before you react. The tool specific solution that we have here is the S automatic safety clutch with the fast brake, which was first introduced by Metabo in 1966. The clutch allows for gear slippage in a pinch or a bind. It helps user maintain control during jams, and greatly reduces the likelihood of shattered wheels. Step seven, reducing wheel spin downtime. It takes eight to 12 seconds for a wheel to come to a complete stop. Many accidents occur during this time, such as brush by accidents, catching your hand, or swiping a nearby coworker to name a few. The grinder may walk, spin out, run away, etc. if placed on a surface before the wheel completely stops. The solution, the Metabo mechanical brake. 
stops grinding wheels in under two seconds, and it stops cutoff wheels in under one second. Step eight, reducing vibration. The dangers of vibration are repetitive strain injuries, or RSI, hand-arm vibration, or white finger syndrome, and these effects can be irreversible. The solution, the MVT handle, reduces vibration by 60%. Ergonomically designed grip is insulated from attached bolt. Has an auto balancer. Reduces accessory vibration transmissions to the user by up to 92%. Increases the tool and wheel life up to 100%. With that said, there are a few steps that you can take before any grinder is issued. You should ask the following questions. Is the angle grinder the correct choice of tool for the required work? If the answer is no, stop, ask, confirm. Get with your safety specialist and decide a better way to do the job. Is the operator trained in the use of angle grinders and trained to recognize the possible hazards associated with the use of the angle grinder? If the answer is no, stop, ask, and confirm. Make sure we get with the safety professional, get the needed training, and assign these grinders only to trained operators. Lastly, does the operator have the required PPE? Again, if the answer is no, stop, ask, confirm. Let's get the proper PPE issued that is required before using the grinder. So that's all we have for today. If you have any other questions, please get with your supervisor, your respective safety professional, and you can even contact your local Montalvo representative for any question. Thank you for your time.